Hey buddies, my name is Crap Strap and welcome back to WillYouPressTheButton.com We're gonna start with this question, because this question is awesome. You will become your favourite video game character, but after one year of being the character, you will become immortal, and you will become your least favourite video game character. Oh god, <laughs> that's a tough one! So you get to be a, your favourite character for a year, and then for the rest of time, you have to be... I, I don't know, the singing poo boss from Conker's Bad Fur Day or something. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Why? You become the leader of the world. But you have to solve stressful social and economical problems within your world and always have to live in fear of being assassinated. That's, that's what comes with being the leader of the world anyway. That's, if you're a leader of anything, you have those issues. I mean, what the hell? Yeah, I've become the leader of the world. I will do good. You get a free pizza! Yes! But it has double of your least favorite topping and you have to pick it up. Oh, God! That's like the worst nightmare ever for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm really picky with my foods. I'm forever picking things out of things. It takes forever and by the time I'm done, it's always cold. You know, it, this is one thing that really gets me is when you buy a food, for example, I love, um, like, hoisin duck wraps. If you don't know what one of those is, look at them. I don't care. Um, but you get one of those. But I don't like cucumbers. But always, they come with cucumbers. Why? Cucumber is literally solidified water. I mean, why put that with duck? I don't, I know that ducks like water, and ducks are supposed to be in water, but why put them with, oh god. I, I could literally go on forever moaning about food and why stuff is in stuff. Um, no, that's not worth it for just one pizza. Uh, pointless. Could go and buy a pizza right now if I wanted to. If someone lends me some money, obviously. Come on, pay up. <laughs> you become immune to extreme heat, but you will sometimes catch fire for no reason at all. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. I would love to be immune to extreme heat. Because at the moment, it's it's only like 25... Why did I look at my watch for the temperature? Ain't no temperature guide on my watch, goddammit! It's so... It's really warm in here, and I'm just melting. So that that would be quite quite good. And it'd be awesome, you know, just casually doing a YouTube video and suddenly I burst into flames. That'd be awesome. I'd have to protect all my uniforms and... Uniforms? I'm not wearing a uniform, this is a damn t-shirt! My god, I'm waffling on about all kinds of crap today. Yeah, I'd have to protect my chair and everything. I'd, you know, just wrap it all in tinfoil. Everything would be shiny. And then the crows would attack. What am I doing? Shut up. Yes, I'd do that. <laughs> you can marry anyone in the world and never divorce. But you will have a lot of children. This can be good or bad. I suppose that's depending on if you like having kids. Personally... I'm not a big fan. I'm not a fatherly type. I mean, well, I probably will be eventually, but right now, where I am mentally, in this in this brain hole, brain hole, in a brain hole, there's a brain in there. It's just, you know, God damn it! Um, <laughs> the title of this video is going to be "Random Guy Waffles for Ages About Nonsensical Subjects." <laughs> oh God. Kill me. Um, you can marry anyone in the world and never divorce. Ah, uh, but yeah, yeah, I guess. Cause, oh no, but you'd never divorce. May, but they may not love you. I mean, that that's a big part. Yeah, I can marry anyone in the world, but they don't necessarily like me back. But we can never divorce, and we'd have to have loads of children together. What if they hated me? That'd be really bad. Then it'd be a really bad sort of upbringing for the kids because the parents would be arguing all the time no i'd probably say no i'd say no that's not no no that's not good pokemon becomes a real thing and begin appearing all over the world but this does not include anything else from the series no pokeballs no pokemon centers etc well we've got pokemon go now so that's pretty much a thing so yep <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll be the best at something and revolutionize the world for the better. Something. That's very nondescript. 
But while alive, you will be hated for what your gifts. What? You'll be hated for what your gifts. Great English there. Well done. Um, yes. That's. I'm going to say yes because I could. Yeah. Well, like that guy says. So basically, like Nikola Tesla. Yes. Because I could invent stuff, then I could just die and everyone would benefit. That's cool. All right. I'm happy with that. You can have sex with anyone you want, any way you want, for a month. My god, imagine the chafing! Oh, <laughs> But half of your wages will be taken from you for the rest of your life. No! No! Half of your wages? That's a hell of a lot of money! My god! No! Bad question. Naughty. You end all the racism that exists in the world. But you become Trayvon Martin right before Zimmerman shoots him. I have no idea who those people are. But I would say yes, because racism is not a good thing, obviously. I mean, racism is just... There's no point to it. It just causes havoc to everybody. Lives are ruined from racism. Doesn't make any sense. Everyone's equal at the end of the day, God damn it. Um... I don't know who Trayvon Martin is and who Zimmerman is, but if it's Hans Zimmerman, the composer, then hell yeah, I'd love to be shot by that guy. He's a legend. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get shot by Hans Zimmerman. <laughs> Have the epic Inception theme tunes are playing as he shoots me. <laughs> oh, God. You are the master of the universe. I thank you. Awesome. <laughs> but... You have to answer everyone's wishes, no matter who or how disturbing they may be. Nope, 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 because inevitably there's going to be some crazy, crazy psychopath that's just going to be like, I want all of the children's fingernails. Kill all the children and steal their fingernails and give them to me. <laughs> and I'm going to have to go around like Santa Claus, but evil, and just instead of giving them presents, I'm going to have to take their fingernails and kill them. What is going on in here? <laughs> what the hell? No, I'm not going to answer that. No, no, I'm not going to do that. That's bad. That's a bad question. Nasty. You get the chance to restart your life from scratch. A new life, a new body, and a new world. A whole new world. But you'll remember your, your old life only in vague glances through your dreams, like something missing in your life that you just can't put your finger on. Well, I guess it will always be nice to be try something completely different, and that'd be cool to have dreams of my life anyway, because um, I've done some good stuff, I guess. I, I got some good memories. Not all good, but, but I've got some good memories, and I'd probably remember them. And even if I thought they were dreams, they'd still be enjoyable, because, you know. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, why not? Try, some, try a new body, a new life. A whole new world. You would have perfect looks. I already do. <laughs> but you could never date anyone. Why? Why would I? Why would anyone do that? That's a bad question. You will become charismatic, beautiful, happy, and famous for the rest of your life. Am I not already? These questions are just assuming that I'm not. Silly questions. <laughs> But ten strangers somewhere in the world will be lonely, ugly, sad, and unknown for the rest of their lives. They are... well, I'm pretty sure there's more than ten people that are lonely, ugly, sad, and unknown. It's, there's gotta be. I mean, there's gotta be some weird sort of hermit kind of man who's never washed in a hundred years, living up a mountain that's never seen human life. Other than his, like himself and his mother, obviously, and probably his father. But I'd imagine his father left, you know, not like at the birth because such an ugly child. So he wouldn't have known his dad. And uh, yeah, he just lives up a mountain. Jeremiah, we'll call him. Jeremiah lives up a mountain, and he's lonely, ugly, and sad. And no one knows him, and he knows no one. So uh, where am I going with this? What am I even saying? <laughs> Um, yes, I'm going to be selfish, but there's already 10 strangers somewhere in the world with all that anyway, so why not? Does that, uh, wait, does that mean they suddenly become strange, like, 
become lonely, ugly, and sad. No, no, they have to have been it from birth. Which case, you know, their own fault for being lonely and sad. Uh, they need to do something about it. Um, okay. Final question. You can travel to any fictional place and visit characters from TV shows, films, and books as many times as you want, but you're unable to... A little... A little... A little... But you are unable to speak a language that characters that understand. Pretty much like the language I just spoke about ten seconds ago. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you, I don't have to speak. I mean, I could go back to the olden days where they were filming, like all the classic films with like with no sound and just like the music. I could just go back then because no one was talking in those films anyway. So <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'd fit right in. Um, I could be a famous mute. Um, I could, you know, I could just, just go around. People would know me for being the mute who randomly appears in places in different spaces of time. And I could go and see all these famous people and that'd be kind of cool and, you know, experience all the stories. I wouldn't have to say anything. But yeah, I'd do that. Hell yeah. I would, definitely. That was a good question. Um, yeah. A lot of good questions today. I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. I went on a couple of weird little offshoot rants for some reason, I don't know why. I'm slightly insane, I've come to accept that fact. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you've enjoyed the episode, like, comment, subscribe, and do what you YouTubers do. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out for now, bye bye! Oh, it's Jontron, my twin. Doesn't he look just like me? <laughs> yes, we are the same person. <laughs> Nice. I've got so many comments of people just saying, Oh, you look just like John Tron. You're trying to copy Mark Pryor. Uh.